Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a multi-award winning premium gas blowback aerosol pistol, the ASG CZP09. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're taking a look at the ASG CZP09. And this is a replica of CZ's full-size polymer service pistol. The real version goes for $530, while the Airsoft gas blowback version goes for $130. And this is an Airsoft pistol that has won popular Airsoft's best pistol of the year multiple times. And we're gonna completely go over it to see if it's worth that price tag. But if this is your first time here and you're into gear guides, gun reviews, gameplay, and all sorts of other cool Airsoft stuff, Join us on the journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's talk about all the awesome features and pros and cons on this gun right after we see what's in the box. All right guys, today we're taking a look at the CZ P09 by ASG. This is provided to us by Fox Airsoft. It retails for $130. All right, let's see what's in the box. We've got an owner's manual that we've flung out all over the place. My favorite picture of all time, don't shoot yourself in the face. Operation and care instructions, hop-up instructions, basic stuff. All right, inside the box, we have the gun itself. An Allen key, which I'm gonna guess is for the CO2 in the magazine. Yep, it is a CO2 magazine. Under normal circumstances, you load this by pulling the spring down from the top like that. If you'll notice, you can't actually pull the spring up from the bottom right here. And that actually pulls that little nub down so she can take that cap right off. Access that Allen key area. A uh, threaded barrel cap if you want to have kind of a finished look. Or you can put a uh, suppressor on it. All right, so what is this right here? A box of BBs. All right. All right, let's look at the gun. The gun itself is a beautiful gun. I have always loved this gun. You know, I'm not going to make any secret of the fact that when we started playing Airsoft, it was from watching gameplay videos by Dutch the Hooligan, and this was his primary sidearm, and it was initially the gun I was looking at getting, but then I started doing some research and started seeing the popularity of the Elite Force 1911 TAC, and ultimately that's what I ended up going with, but if you're out there looking for a really reliable, popular go-to go -to, uh, gas blowback pistol, it's going to come down to probably this gun or that 1911 TAC. Now it is a full frame pistol, um, it feels really good in the hand. It has a nice long five slot Picatinny tactical rail integrated underneath, nice squared off trigger guard, excellent stippling on the, on the, on the grip and on the side of the, uh, the under rail. The rail itself has got laser cutting on it so you can grip it really well and rack it back. Super nice gun, it's everything, it's everything I expected it to be. It feels awesome in the hand, the weight is perfect. I feel like it can make some really good shots with this gun. Safety on the side with the red dot indicator on it. Interestingly, just like the 1911 TAC, it has to be cocked in order for the safety to work. So, I know that it does have an adjustable hop up. Um, let's see how we get to it. I'm guessing we have to take the slide off, so we're gonna take that magazine out, go all the way back. That slide catch release really should either come out or turn. So, okay, so it's a pin, comes all the way out. So it's not a slide catch lever that turns down like the uh, ICS BLE. It is actually a pin that comes all the way out, just like the, uh, the 1911 TAC. And just goes all the way forward. Looks like it takes an actual Phillips head screwdriver, small Phillips head screwdriver to adjust the, the hop up. Not a not a super fan of that. Although I'm guessing if you have to uh, you have to turn this screw to adjust the hop up, probably not going anywhere. It's probably going to be a lot more reliable as far as staying dialed into how you have it hopped up and not having to rehop it, unless you change BB weights, of course. I'd much rather have seen a. Uh, a dial style or rotary style hop up that you could adjust with your, your finger. Still overall, the gun itself seems really well made, other than that. Still feels really good, nice weight. I mean, and the important thing is how well the gun performs. So yeah, let's go talk about this gun. All right guys, so as we mentioned, this is ASG's replica of CZ's full-size polymer service pistol. And the slide on it is metal, and the rest of the frame is, is all polymer, which makes it light and maneuverable, but it's still got a good bit of heft to it. It only weighs about two pounds, and it's really easy to aim. In fact, CZ is well known for having a natural point of aim and customizable grips with different back straps that you can put onto it. And I have to compliment them on that. As a tall guy with big hands, 
The oversized grip on this guy feels really good in the hand. Now you can get other back straps for this if you got smaller hands, but it's a, it's a full size gun and it, it's pretty big in your hand. It does have a fairly long grip and that natural point of aim, it, uh, it does feel very different than other popular competitors like the Elite Force 1911 TAC. But the body of the gun itself is, is very well made. It's very solid. It's got stippling where you're gonna rest your fingers on both sides of the lower frame. Laser cuts on the front and back of the rail so you can rack it back pretty easily. And the barrel itself is a threaded barrel if you wanna add a suppressor or a tracer unit. And it's got a five slot Picatinny tactical rail underneath integrated with the frame so you can mount uh, laser dots or flashlights or whatever you may want to. It's got a very visible red dot ambidextrous safety that you can see from both sides and extremely tactile stippling on both sides of the pistol grip. Now the magazine on this version is CO2 and it holds 25 rounds, which is pretty awesome. Now this guy does have an adjustable hop up and you get to it by pushing the slide back until you can remove that retaining pin and then sliding that slide back forward until it comes off. And then you flip that over and it has a little Phillips head screwdriver that is your adjustable hop up. Now that's one thing that I might consider a negative on this gun, that you've gotta have a tool to adjust the hop up, makes it a little bit harder to do it in the field unless you're carrying a little Phillips head screwdriver out with you. But at the same time, I suspect that that makes it far more fixed and the hop up's not gonna come loose over the course of, of shooting it. Now, all in all, it does feel like this Czech company CZ, which stands for Cheska Bravka, put together an outstanding gun. But as with any gun review, we really wanna know how does the gun perform? So let's go check that out right now. Interestingly, the gun behaved a little bit like a green gas magazine gun. The FPS started out above 360 and steadily went down with each successive shot, which is a little bit unusual with CO2 cartridges. You usually see a much more steady FPS than that. But for our tests, it shot anywhere between 330 and 360 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs. And target shooting at 50 and 70 feet was pretty amazing. We didn't turn up the hop up even a little bit and it stayed right on the line at those distances. And recoil and follow up shots were absolutely fluid and effortless. The action on the gun is smooth like butter. All right guys, there you go. So the gun started out shooting a little bit hot on a brand new CO2 cartridge, but as we continued shooting through the magazine, it looks like it's settling down to about 340 FPS. So now the shooting sequence that we showed was with 0.20 gram BBs and it shot perfectly fine, but we did also shoot this with 0.25s and even with 0.25s, just the standard from factory hop up without any adjustment was still keeping it on a perfect line at 70 feet. So there is plenty of hop up left on the CZP09 to easily have engagements of 100 feet or more. And once again, this gun retails for $130. So guys, tell us what you think about this gun. Do you own one? Do you aspire to own one? Is there something about this gun that we left out? Pros, cons? Put it all down there in the comment section so that all the viewers that are watching this get that additional info as well. And if you haven't already, join us on our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell because YouTube is pretty squarely about notifying you if you're only subscribed. And we don't want you to miss a single video that comes out every Tuesday with bonus videos on Fridays. And until then, we'll see you next time.